interesting feeling. Ooh. Um, just kind of just tell me what's been going on and where you mainly want me to uh, work on you today. Well, I've had a lot of issues with my lower back. Okay. And um, when I set a lot, it gets really, really stiff. Okay. I have this SI joint that hurts all the time. Okay. And my right hip seems to be really stiff. Okay. And um, I've done a lot of different things for it, and it doesn't seem to work. Okay. So, okay. I thought maybe you could put more. Try to help a little Okay. So, and then I just have that bothers me, which I've learned to stretch it a lot, and just this trigger point, right? Just right in the shoulder. And you will probably be able to feel I'll it. I'll feel it. You'll, you'll feel the, okay. you'll, you'll feel it. It's, you'll be able to tell the difference on this. And then, Other than that, I don't. I really don't have any issues. Well, that's good. I'm. I'm pretty. Yeah, I can see how all this is pushed out on this right side a little bit more. And then when you can probably tell now that you're touching it, like you can probably see the shoulder. Yeah, no, I can definitely over. see it in the back. Yeah, the shoulder is more rolled forward. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so we do have a little bit. We do have to fight against. You do have it. I did see they said some foraminal narrowing. So if you don't know what foraminal narrowing is. So, foramina just means whole. It means what? Whole. Oh, all whole, okay. Yeah, so you have these little foramens that go through here on the side of the spine that these nerves exit out of. So when they narrow, they just kind of go up and they just narrow this whole hole and just gets smaller. So it ends up just kind of pinching these nerves. So if there's already some there, there's no way to change that. All we can do is try to mitigate further degeneration where it actually starts to really pinch the nerve and then the nerve can the nerve can be choked, and then the nerve can die. So we don't want the nerves to get killed, because <laughs> once they die in here, these won't regenerate. They won't. No, these these central ones once they're gone, they're done. There's no way to get these back. So we have to try to keep that foramen narrowing to keep it open. What do you do to do this? So in order to do that, we have to get the other areas moving. Oh, okay. So we have to okay. put the curvatures back in the spine where they need to be. Okay. to alleviate the pressure off of the nerves. As you go back, you're going to actually open up these holes okay. because that's where the, we should be living. But as soon as you go forward, you're going to push the disc that way. And then the disc ends up pushing on the nerve. These holes, they start to calcify. So that's when you get your foraminal narrowing. I'll let you know when I'm about to adjust as well. Okay. I don't just surprise you. Okay. Just the neck here. Oh, a little bit already.
Mike's a little stuck on that left side. Yeah, I, I didn't realize how that stiff my neck was till you started working on it. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't have pain in my neck, so I don't really pay any attention to it. Right. So for this one, I'm just going to push out against my elbows here as hard as you can for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. This is for the pubic symphysis, so just the front of your pelvis. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and push in towards my hands here. There you go. You got it. Yeah, right hip stuck. <laughs> Adjust the hips here first. I just push here and lift up on the thigh. Mm -hmm. Okay? A little breath in here for me. Take a little breath in. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good. All right, right here. A little breath in here for me. Good. All right, here. Deep breath in here for me. Same thing here, deep breath in. Good. Good.
And what does that do when you rub it over the spine? Over the spine? I'm breaking up the adhesions that uh -huh. sit over uh -huh. here. Because uh -huh. when you stretch all this, uh -huh. this also congeals. So this blood just sits here uh -huh. until something moves, uh -huh. tries to get it moving. Now you do it over the spine, you do have to go a little bit gentle because it's just right on the bone. Mm -hmm. So you can't really, I'm not pushing all that much on it. What causes the trigger point? Overuse. Mm. Using one muscle over and over and over again. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's tender there. No, it's goosey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It just it just it doesn't hurt, that's so Interesting feeling. Okay, no. I'm really bad at yoga because I'm so stiff. Yeah, we're gonna loosen you up. Okay. Go ahead and relax. So this breaks up congestion? Mm-hmm. Tries to bring new blood, new tissue in here. Gives you some flexibility. Yeah, this shoulder is actually not as bad. Really? Mm -mm. I'm pushing right through this muscle here. Wow. There's no, there's no trap here. That's probably why the shoulder's roll forward on your right side. It's because there's this no, the trap here has, it's just not there. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Don't need to do trap 
I wouldn't do trap exercises. No? No, I would just leave it alone. The reason why is because when you raise your shoulders, it actually goes into your neck here. Oh. So I actually need this guy to relax. You can go ahead and relax your neck. You can bring your chin back up. All right. How are you feeling so far? Good. Really good. <laughs> Feel a little squished? <laughs> okay. No, I felt good. Oh, I'm good. All right. I'm going to show you your back here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that'll be some good circulation. Though. Yeah. But you can see how your very low back here, barely any bruising. It kind of just stops Why? right there because that means this is moving. So you got plenty of movement down oh, there, okay. but everything else above that oh. isn't working. So this, it's right here in the middle. That yep. Needs That's to all move. stiff. So that needs more movement through here. This guy is being overworked. Same thing in the neck as well. Barely any bruising into the neck here on the lower part. Now these creases here. This tells me where your movement is happening in your neck. This crease here on your right side means your right side is doing a lot of work. You barely have any crease here on the left. So this left side is completely closed. Now this other crease here has moved up because now that this work, since this guy on this side has stopped working, now the guy above it is now having to try to work That's to compensate for that loss of motion in the lower neck. We're gonna do the shoulder. So I'm just gonna have your hands and your hips like this for me. Sit up as straight as you can, head back, good. And then you're just gonna like push back with the elbow here. Push back? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, that's it. It was, yeah, your shoulder moved really nicely. Elbow. Good. Wrist, just lean away from me, pull. There we go. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Felt it. All right, good. And then go ahead and just take your left ear to your left shoulder for me. Good. Okay, bring it back to neutral for me. All right, go ahead and lean. There it goes. Felt it. That was a good one. And a little tender. Okay, go ahead and lean. There it goes. All right. That one let go quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How you feeling? Good. Feeling good? I feel good. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I'm glad we could help you.